Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in the previous sessions, we have seen uh, the different types of arguments in functions. So now let us see the implementation of these types of arguments in functions. So as we have seen in the previous session, there are four categories of uh, uh, arguments, I mean four types of arguments. The first one is the required argument. Uh, default uh, keyword argument default argument and variable length argument so coming to the first one that is uh, required argument in this required argument we have seen the number of arguments should be same in both the function call and the function definition and also it, the, the initialization will be done from the uh, function call to function function definition based upon the position of the arguments so we should not change the position of the arguments See, let us see the required arguments first. So, every function starts with def. So, next function name followed by arguments a comma b. So, I have printed a and b here. Now, let us write the display function display of 10, 20. So, if you observe here in the function call, so this this one is the function call and in the function call we had uh, given a two arguments and in the function definition also we had given a two arguments. So, this count should match in both the function call and function definition. And coming to the initialization, it just follows the position of the arguments. So here the first argument in the function call is 10 and the first argument in the function definition is a. So 10 is assigned to a and second argument in the function call is 20 and the second argument in the function definition is b. So 20 is assigned to b. Now a is, a, a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 will be printed. Let us see that. So first we have to save this. Arg1. So a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. See, let us interchange this one 20 and 10. Now the first argument of function call is 20 and the first argument of function definition is a so 20 is initialized to a and the second argument in the function call is 10 and the second argument in the function definition is b so 10 is assigned to b so if you print a and b we will get the result as 20 and 10 let us see that yes a is equal to 20 and 10 so blindly it will follow the position of the arguments and also the number of arguments should be same this is all about the required arguments. Now let us see the keyword arguments. So as we have seen that in the keyword arguments, the number of, uh, I mean, uh, the assignment of values from the function call to function definition will be done based upon the names of a variable. So we have to give a names of the variable. See, let us start def display. a comma b print sorry a is equal to a b is equal to b let us write the function called display a is equal to 10 comma b is equal to 20 now let us save this or 2 
so we'll get a a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and if you change this one if you write a b is equal to 10 and a is equal to 20 so even though the first argument in the function call is b that is 10 it, it will not be assigned to the first variable of function definition that is a so here the assignment of values will be done based upon the keywords that means names given to that particular variable so here b is equal to 10, 10 means in the function definition also it will be assigned to b only so here we have interchanged the b and a so previously a is the first argument in the function call and b is the second argument in the function call now i have just uh, rep uh, replaced the b and a so that b is the first argument and a is the second argument whereas coming to the function dis definition a is the first argument and b is the second argument even though we will get the same result see again we will get a, a is equal to 20 b is equal to 10 right so so even though the second argument is a their first argument even the the mapping will be done based upon the names of a variable hope you understood this one right so in the first one we are not giving any names in the function call and here we have to give the names in the function call next coming to the third one the third one is the default arguments so some arguments will be having the default values that may or may not be included in the function call let us see this def display come on name is equal to abc course is equal to bit print name is equal to once again write the print statement name is equal to course is equal to write down the function name is equal to abc course is equal to check once again I will write here display name is equal to pqr r3 right see here we are passing two arguments in the uh, function called the first function called so here we are we have written two function calls with the same name but the difference is with the parameters so in the first function call we have passed two parameters that is name and course and the second function call we have passed only one parameter in the absence of course so in the function definition we have written name is equal to two arguments that is one one is name and another one is course name is equal to abc and course is equal to btech so if you execute this statement so while executing this first function call the name is equal to abc and course is course is equal to mtech will be printed name is equal to abc course is equal to mtech and while executing the second function call display of name is equal to pqr here there is an absence of <coughs> course right so here only one argument is passed but in the function definition there are two arguments so here course will be acting as a default argument so in here in the function second function call we are just passing the name so the course will be as a default argument it will be printed so if you execute this one we will get uh, name is equal to abc uh, the second function call is name is equal to pqr and a course is equal to btech hope you understood this one here the number of arguments in both the function call and the function definition need not be same and 
some arguments will be acting as a default argument those arguments uh, need not be included in the function call hope you understood this let us move on to the fourth one that is variable length arguments so in the variable length arguments in some situations user may not know how many arguments should be passed in the function call so this can be uh, solved by including just a star as a prefix to the variable in the function definition so if you write this star in, uh, in front of the variable in the function definition that implies it is a sequence of variables so it's sequence of arguments so it can accept a multiple arguments a variable length of arguments right let us see that def display so here it is a multiple uh, uh, arguments so we have to use star in front of the variable and write down star subjects for i in subjects print i so i am just printing the value of i and now i am just passing the arguments in the function call now i am writing the function call display write the uh, arguments like uh, btec mtec mca mba right here we are passing a four arguments in the function call but in the function definition we have we have uh, written only one argument that is also prefixed with star so if any variable is prefixed with a star it indicates that it is a sequential variable that means it consists of more number of values so here the in the function call we are passing the four arguments and in the function definition we have written only one argument prefixed with a star so this will accept all the four arguments into the particular subjects now if you execute this one If you execute this one, see, all the four arguments have been printed: btec, mtec, mca, and mba. Right? So here, if you place the star in front of the variable, it indicates it, it will accept a multiple arguments. So this is the fourth argument. So hope you understood this for all these four uh, types of arguments. The first one is required argument. Uh, a keyword argument default argument and the variable length argument so based upon our logic we can implement any one of these arguments in the functions right so if you are having any doubts regarding this python programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts so if you really understood my videos like my videos share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for listening thank you very much